Chevrolet package done. Yes, yes, I made it. Look. <clears throat> it's a fucking slow. Yes, just got my new quarter. Well, a few days ago. Camaro 7 inch with the 1300 kV motors. I really enjoyed it. Cruising around, it's a little stress relief. I've got a 6S 2200 mAh and it didn't last quite as long as I hoped to. Oh, so with this guy here, XLF5. It's still a forest, but uh, I'm still using it for cruising, to be honest. Maybe you can make a 4S 18650 for it. So, today I'm gonna try to make some 18650s battery packs. Yeah, go on. So the basics of nip snaps and tools and items I'm gonna use. Ta-da! So, here are the batteries I'm gonna use. We're gonna use four of them. We're gonna make a four S pack. So these are uh, Sony VT C6, some wire cutters, wire strippers, 12 gauge silicon wire. A 4S balance connector, these are 22, yes, but I would prefer to use 20 gauge. XT60 connector, 12 gauge, a bit of sandpaper, glue gun, tweezers, solder, and a flux pen, multimeter, and some shrink flapping for the battery and of course the solder iron itself this is just a basic simple one when you buy some uh, it's the 650s they should come around 3.5 3.4 for it so i'm just going to measure them all 3.47, okay. 3.48, okay. And we're gonna glue them together, but we can't just glue them like this. Positive, 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 negative, negative. We can't do that. So, stop with two batteries. Make sure. Have one side positive and other side negative, like so. Now you see, one side is positive, one side is negative. I'm just gonna put a dab of glue in here to keep them together. Same thing, these guys. Now you have two identical ones here. Positive, negative. So I'm gonna make from these two into one break here, like so. So it should look like this here. This here now will be the top side. Like so. So we have we got positive, negative, negative, positive. This now will be the top side. So now I'm just gonna add a dab of glue in here and in here to keep it together. Or you could also use some kind of tape. This will be the top side. So I've marked Battery number one. You can also use a T for top. And here we have battery number four. Top. And this is battery number two. And this is battery number three. Two. So I'm going to show you a picture of the schematics I'm using here or here or somewhere on the screen. That's one I'm going to follow. So then you can see, okay, this is the pattern number one, number four, number two, and number three, because this is the top side. And this is the bottom side. Number one, two, three, and four. 
Okay, so now it's time to prep the batteries. Oh, I'm going to use my sandpaper to rough up the edges a little bit. Not the edges, but the side of it, but I'm going to solder. So. That's more than enough. Now I'm going to flip it and do it on the other side. That's the bottom side done. These uh, 12 gauge wires here, this will be the CRS connector. Now on my uh, schematic it's shown as in green, but because that's uh, just to make it a little bit easier for you to, <laughs> you know, see the schematics I've tried to draw. On. <laughs> so I'm going to measure the length. Roughly here. There. Yeah, that's a good length. So I'm going to cut up uh, three of these guys here and three. Now I'm just going to strip them a little bit on each side. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, so this guy was a little too big for this job, so I bought me a knife. Just, um, just take your time, go slow. You don't need to rush this project here. Yeah, so I got my three steel connectors here. The CRS connector. Then I'm going to take your extra 60 and prep it. Uh, if you have, haven't one, you can just make one. I'm, I'm pretty sure you all know how to solo this one here. Nah. So now I'm going to do pre tin the wires. I set that aside. Let's see now. If I can do it like so, yes, 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 yes. Now, this is gonna get hot so in my <laughs> So, I just might use my tweezers. So, I'm gonna put in the uh, in six fifties. One, two, one, two. Did you see what we forgot? Some flux. So, continue on the top side. We are going to take our XTC, X, <laughs> XT60 connector, the positive side, and hook it up to battery number one. And the negative connector, we are going to hook it up to Battery number four. Sorry about that. <laughs> My cap came in away. But here it is. This on top side still. Negative on battery number four. Positive on battery number one. On the top side. So just give it a little yank. See if it's still there. Yeah, it's on there. Okay then, so now we are going to flip it. And do the two last seal connectors. So, the seal connector now will be on the bottom side, battery number two and two battery number one. So, like so. As it starts to melt, I'm going to push it down. One, two. Perfect. Practice makes perfect. Uh, last seal connector between battery number four and number three. It starts to melt. They're forcing it down. One, 
2. Okay then, so the sales connector is all done. Now I wanted to check with my ECT battery checker to see if I get uh, 14 volt. Here we have 13.978. Very good, I'm happy. So, from schematics, here are the balance connect wires. The black one, E, D, C, B, and A. So, we're gonna start on the top one, on the top side, like so. Now, we're gonna find the wire B, which is this one. You're going to take this wire down to the middle of your lion pack. Hmm. Heap of use. Uh, Stand up right there. Ah, perfect. So here A, B, great. Now we're going to take this B wire and solder it on to battery number one from the bottom side. So, so now we've got the B done. And now we're going to take D So the D wire Is this one here Again, put it down Flip it here is your D wire. This wire we're going to sell it to battery number three. This one here. Now the bottom side is completely done, in fact. So, I'm going to flip it around again. Okay, so now we're going to work on the C wire, which, is go which goes to the battery number two on the top side. This one. Cut the length of the wire to see. So right about there. I want to cut it. So a little bit snip snip. Now I'm gonna take the A wire. This one here. And solder it on to battery number one on the top side. Which is this one here. Mm -hmm. Now the last wire is E. This guy here. And of course that goes to battery number four on the top side. A little bit of yank. Yep. Yep. Now it seems to only need to do is to check if I have done my serial connection complete or correct. Okay, let's see now. What do we get? We get autofocus. Okay, hang on, hang on. There we go. 3.447. Ah, perfect. Now we need to protect it somehow. Some duct tape. Or gaffer tape. Gorilla tape. Now we've got a little bit, little bit of protection at least. 
And now we're going to take this here. Yeah, heat shrink tubing, that paper thingy. Yes. Here's my little heat gun. Cheap but effective. Do it again. <laughs> I'm going to do now, I'm going to charge it up using a uh, ESTT uh, Lion configuration and then I'm going to discharge it and I'm going to charge it up again I'm going to discharge it using my uh, hang on, I'm going to show you this guy here the FD100 and I'm going to place it in a uh, bat safe case just be sure yeah it's done Okay, now there are a few things I'm going to do better next time when I make a light back. The serial connectors or the serial wires, instead of using a 12 gauge wire, I'm going to use a 14 gauge because the length is just so short. So I think it's more than enough. Also, it's going to help me uh, do a better solar job. Yes, I know the solar jobs were not the best, let's be honest. But I wanted to keep it in a video to show I'm not perfect, but I could do it because I'm going to take my time doing this, I took my time and I made it and I'm happy. Also, I'm this balance connector here, I'm going to use a 20 gauge wire next time and what else? Nope, that's it. Take your time, enjoy the video, like if you like it, you know, subscribe if you like it too, it helps the channel. Ta-ta! Yeah,